Eight o'clock now on a Wednesday morning. It's the third day of March, 2010, and yep, it's not such a nice day here in the Northeast. We've got rain or freezing rain, a little snow mixed in as well, but you know what? We've also got some really nice people who've been here for a couple hours already this morning waving to us and the people back home. Thank you, folks, for sticking around. We appreciate it. By the way, I think they're listening. Can you hear in the background? What? Is this a theme song? Not There's yet. Not yet. No? That was our We're theme not here. song. That was our theme song? Here we go. There we go. There's an 80s sitcom theme song that is 227's There's No Place Like Home. I'm Matt Lauer along with Meredith Vieira, Al Roker. Fun fact. Yes, yes. who what performed that, that song? I know, but I can't, I'm not oh. going to say. You can say. All right, Marla Gibbs. Marla Gibbs performing oh. that song. Yeah. That's right. I didn't know that. That was a fun fact. That's right. Mm -hmm. That sitcom, 227, set at a Washington, D.C. apartment building. Big hit before going off the air back in 90. Well, this time, this morning, for the first time ever since they went off the air, the cast back together again. Day three of our series, Great TV Families Reunited. We're going to catch up with the cast of 227. Still having a good time. They're cracking themselves That's out. That's it. <laughs> in just a little bit. All right. Do you guys, are you in debt, credit card debt? Back now at 8.09 on day three of our special series, Great TV Families Reunited. This morning, got a good one. The cast of the popular 80s sitcom 227 is together again for the first time since the show went off the air 20 years ago. Here's a quick look back. <laughs> Two Seven premiered in 1985 and proved just like the song says that there's no place like home. No place like home. It did so by showing off the colorful personalities inside this Washington, D.C. apartment building, number 227, where the gossip on the front stoop between best friends was often just as hot as the coffee. Oh, afternoon, Rose. Afternoon, Mayor. Yeah. <laughs> I heard the O'Briens got a crack in their marriage. No! Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. They just celebrated their silver anniversary. Well, I can tell you one thing, they ain't going for the gold. But audiences tuned into NBC on Saturday nights to watch for more than just stoop talk. They connected with this loving, working class family that happened to be black. Housewife Mary Jenkins ruled the roost. You girls finish your homework? Daddy! Mary! Lester? Sorry. <laughs> While construction worker and supportive husband Lester brought home the bacon. Mary, I know I don't always say it when I should, but I love you. Lester. <laughs> Their teen daughter, Brenda, was an honor student raised to respect her parents, but often took after mom by speaking her mind. It's my new look. Child, come back here. I'm not a child. I'm almost a woman. Among the other tenants, Rose Holloway, the constant voice of reason. You better listen to her, Mary. She knows what she's talking about. The cranky yet caring, nosy neighbor, Pearl, with her grandson, Calvin. Have you gone crazy, boy? Uh, yes, ma'am. I think I have. <laughs> and who could forget Sandra Clark? Look at this old rag. The sexy and single tenant who always knew how to vamp. The sitcom spoke to every family matter, from finances to friendship to teenage dating. I have to grow up sometime. Yeah, it was so fast. And that's what made it relatable. The show ended in 1990. But since then, there's been no place like 227. I mean, no place, child. And here they are, the cast of 227, Golden Globe and Emmy nominee Marla Gibbs, who played Mary Jenkins. Regina King played Mary's daughter, Brenda. Jack A. Harrod won an Emmy for her role as Sandra Clark. Hal Williams played Lester Jenkins, and Curtis Baldwin portrayed Calvin Dobbs. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. So when I said it went off the air 20 years ago, you all went nuts. Yes. I think you got that wrong. <laughs> wow. So what does it feel like, you all back together again on TV? Great. great. Anytime great. we can get together with our TV family, we're very happy. You know, and, and you know, not to, to bring this down, but we want to pay a little tribute to, to one member who couldn't be here because she passed on. Elena. Uh, yeah. Elena. Yeah. Uh, tell, yeah. tell us about her. She looks 
she looked so great. The picture you see, it was her birthday, mm -hmm. and we had a party for her. And she looked so great. She looked like she was on the other side of it. Uh -huh. She had gotten. Elena Reed, she, and she just passed a, a few months ago, yeah, yeah, Elena yeah. Reed, so we miss her. And, yeah. and, you know, this show, back, back in the day, you know, there was a, this was a show about a family uh, that just happened to be black. Right. It, it, why, right. why do you think this show resonated so much with people? Because I think we represented a lot of people across the board in the, in the country. They felt they related to us. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, our comedies were always situation comedies. And a lot of people were going through those situations, so they related. And, and how, th this was a show that actually started out as a play. You're, uh, what was it like translating a show from play to TV? Well, it was great because we had Marla fighting for, for the, the honor of, of being, not being a black woman alone, trying to raise her family, mm -hmm. to have a caring, hardworking yeah. husband. This and was a, a nuclear partner. family. Oh, yeah, very much so. And, and what, Jack, hey, you, I mean, you exploded on this show. I mean, uh, was, was, were you playing to type or did you have to research this one? <laughs> I'm going to cut you up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't playing to anything initially. I just was trying to be funny. Uh -huh. you know, Marla can tell you this, because she, she was at all the auditions, about all 400 of them. Mm -hmm. And I just came <laughs> in and I wanted to be something different. So uh, I had my, my girlfriend's boys, Val Jean Dean from high school, mm -hmm. and uh, Mae West, and Lucille Ball. I just put them all together. Put them all together. Wow. Uh-huh, I got that walk. You know, it just all started coming together. And the great, late, great Brandon Tartikoff, he was there as well. And yeah. he said, do more of that. And I said, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> and you, I'm sure you had to be coaxed out of your shell. Oh, I, yeah. No, no, no. You know, but I thought, because uh, I was telling Regina, who is our star. This is yeah. our star. Yeah. Really? We adore her. And I'm, we're, I don't want to come to tears because she's just so wonderful. I mean, mm -hmm. not that she wasn't wonderful then, but she was a kid. But now she's this great actress. And we're just so proud of you. Yeah. I we're just want to tell you that. for her to call us. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> do you do you guys stay in touch? Do you guys? Yeah, yeah, yes, we do. Marla and I are like great friends. I've come full circle with her. I mean, you know, just to get it out the way. We are like this. Mm -hmm. I learned you so know? much just being, and I'm a little misty because this is the first time we've all been together. And just to hear you say that just Aww. means so much. But I learned so much just from being around them, wh where I am today. You the really foundation, have tears in your eyes. Yeah, the foundation started on this show. I learned the importance of being a professional. And yeah. when Jack A was talking about staying out of some person's, uh, the Stay other person's ideas, their eye lines, and <laughs> how they, you know, things that were going on in their personal lives, I never was privy to those things. They never brought them to work. I found mm. out about them as an adult. It was like, what, really? <laughs> 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 and Curtis, you, you wanted it publicly, you wanted to thank Marla because she took a chance on you. I certainly do. I, I love her. She's like my mom. She's an incredible, incredible inspiration to my life, you know. Um, having crossroads in the community where I can go and stay away from all negative things and find something positive to be involved in. Just makes her an incredible person in my life. She's honestly. real, real honest. Thank you, Calvin. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Marla, you, you, it's 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 fortunate enough for an actor to be associated with one great role. You have been fortunate enough to, to two. We knew you as Florence for eleven seasons. Uh, you know, first you know, on the Jefferson. Two incredible families. Yeah. Yes. What what is that like being part of two iconic characters, portraying two iconic characters? It was fantastic. I mean, I can't forget the Jefferson cast, mm -hmm. and I can't forget the 227 cast. I was so fortunate to go from one wonderful cast to another. And, and how, and, I'm sorry, go ahead. And we were just like family, all of us. In, in doing a show like this, you, I would assume, have to become fairly close, but like any family, I'm sure sometimes you get on each other's. You would get on each other's nerves. Did that oh, ever yeah. happen, Hal? <laughs> well, except for Curtis, I was there with all these ladies. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and it was the second time that I, in my career that that had happened. I'd been in a series where I was the only guy, you know, and I had five or six ladies all around me. So. Oh yeah, you know, you, I told him don't don't call me to make up. Come bring makeup to my room. I'll get you down. 
<laughs> but it was real wonderful with all of them. I mean, uh, I got different points of view from every last one. I mean, I loved them all for it. Uh, so it, it's like you had four wives on this show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Talk to me about about Pearl, uh, uh, Helen Martin, who played oh. Pearl. Oh, wow. Yeah. We Incredible. were just saying some Helenisms before we came wow. in. I told you one. Hard but it's fair, nappy but it's hair. I mean... <laughs> Shot who with a razor? What's the other one? If, if, if anything ever oh. dropped, she would say, "Who dropped yeah, the teeth?" When she <laughs> on her, the day she died, she was in the hospital, and the, the doctor said, "Oh, don't worry, Helen, you're going to be fine." She said, "Oh yeah? Then what the hell am I doing in here?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was feisty. And- yeah. She was no dead And bitch. no one ever knew how old Helen was. No, he didn't know. Yeah. No. She, she admitted to 94, right? Wow. Like, you know, a she show is. like this, why don't you think we have shows like this on the air anymore? We're not the ones to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I need this job, okay? <laughs> Don't hurt me here. <laughs> you know, well, Jackie, you, you portrayed you know, su- such a, a, a memorable character. Was that, in a, se- in a sense, a double-edged sword in that it was such yes. a great character, but yet you could get pigeonholed doing something like that? I have gotten pigeonholed. Uh, yeah. I, I, and uh, I was telling Regina about this in the green room, that, uh, that uh, and, I, and he paid the Murkison on Law and Order, that it uh, bothers me, you know, because I'm a, an actress and I can act, and you get typecast, but... She said, forget that. She said, you become something great to somebody. And, mm-hmm. and Marla yeah. tells me this. Yeah. She said, stop it. And, uh, and, and I have to, you know, because I, I look at it, I go, ooh. Like when you show the clips, I go, ooh. <laughs> you know, because I didn't mean to do that. Mm-hmm. I just meant to be funny. You know, but and she was funny. Yes, yeah. Yeah. there's no question about that. I'd have to say cut Amazing. sometimes and laugh. <laughs> and she was so ridiculous. <laughs> so ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Re- Regina, uh, you you made the transition from a child actress to to a bona fide actor star. Uh, you know, uh, breaking out, especially in Ray. Uh, do you look back at at what you learned here on Two Two Seven to be able to put that that into motion and in what you've done? Um, definitely. I feel like when it was actually happening and we were doing the show, I wasn't realizing, I did not realize the training ground that I was on. I didn't, all the jewels that I was getting from everybody around me. And then, you know, as an adult, I'm like, man, I see sometimes I see kids on set and I'm like, ooh, we would have never been able to do that. (laughs) But uh, yeah, I I am aware of I wouldn't be here if I didn't have just this strong foundation. It's five years. Wow. Well, you guys are terrific, and we're looking forward to you sticking around for a little bit. Marla Gibbs, Regina King, Jack A. Harry, Hal Williams, and Curtis Baldwin all hanging around. They're going to answer your emails coming up. Uh-oh. So just sub- yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> submit them to todayshow.com. <laughs> hey, that's right. I want you to target Jack A. <laughs> Give me a hard time. Hey. <laughs> Still ahead. Like, what you, you can do. I love you too. <laughs> what you can do to treat and even prevent thinning hair. A little later for me, but first, these messages. You are great. <laughs> Coming up, much more with the cast of 227 after your local news and weather. We're back with our special series, Great TV Families Reunited. We're having fun with the cast of the 80s sitcom 227, Marla Gibbs, Regina King, Jack A. Harry, Hal Williams, and Curtis Baldwin. They all stuck around. Actually, we just locked the door and wouldn't let them out. (laughs) uh, We want to get to some of these email questions because our email inbox flooded with questions. Were there any practical jokes done on the set? This is from Ruth Ann in Mentor, Ohio. Any practical jokers on the set? Mm-mm. No. Why is that always a question? Uh, no. <laughs> uh-uh, we didn't have one of those. No. Wow. <laughs> we had. We had. I remember we had Leslie Nielsen who kept walking around too. He yeah. got on Marla's nerves. He had a little squeeze box. Oh, that's right. The, along the, like the whoopee cushion. The whoopee yeah. cushion thing. Yeah. Yeah. And Marla finally said, "When are, when are you going to grow up?" <laughs> what was Put Leslie Nielsen up. doing? <laughs> <laughs> we we had, had everybody. Yeah, on we had show. everybody on we, that show. You had some great guest stars, didn't you? Yeah. We had Run yeah. DMC, which was huge for us. We yeah. were like, Run DMC is going to be on our show. Yeah. Yeah. Pee Wee Herman was yeah. on. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's fabulous. All right, next this one from.